these brainstem reflexes are very very important okay there are important five brainstem reflexes only let go i could have some okay brainstem reflexes we have atn nerve STN nerve, tonic labyrinthine reflex, positive supporting reaction and negative supporting reaction. What is this? I'll tell you. What is ATN nerve? ATN nerve means asymmetric tonic neck reflex. So please, please. Asymmetric tonic neck reflex. In asymmetric tonic neck reflex, what is the body position the kid should be in? Supine line with head in. Midline. What is the stimulus? You just rotate the head to one side. This is the stimulus. What is the response? Okay. When you rotate the head to the <coughs> left side, the hand will be extended on the face side, and the right side of the hand will be flexed. It's like this. Okay. When you rotate the head to the right side, the right side hand will be extended. And the left side, the skull side of the hand will be flexed. This is called asymmetric tonic neck reflex. And it appears at birth and it should disappear by 4 to 5 minutes. Okay? So please do remember that AT and NAP are asymmetric tonic neck reflex. <coughs> the position should be in supine line with head in midline. Okay? What is the stimulus you should give? You just laterally rotate the head to the <coughs> right side. If you are rotating the head to the left side, the left side of the hand will be in extension. The face side of the hand will be in <coughs> extension. The skull side of the hand will be flexed. It appears at 2 months and it should disappear by 4 to 5 months. Okay. I'll show you the picture of the camera. You can see the picture. Okay. If you are rotating the head to the right side, the face side hand should be extension. The skull side hand should be flexion. This is called asymmetric tonic neck reflex. The second reflex of brainstem reflex is symmetric tonic neck reflex. We call it as STNR, symmetric tonic neck reflex. What is the body position? Body position should be in quadriput. What is the stimulus? Okay. Two types of stimulus. If you are extending the head, both the lower limbs will get extended. Sorry, the both the upper limbs will get extended, lower limbs will get flexed. Stimulus, if you are extending the head. Okay. Both the upper limbs will get extended, lower limbs will get flexed. If you are flexing the head, both the upper limbs will get flexed, lower limbs will get extended. Okay. It is related with the head. You just flex the head, the upper limbs also will get flexed, lower limbs will get extended. This is called symmetric tonic neck reflex which appears at 4 months and disappears at 6 months. The next reflex is tonic labyrinthine reflex. Tonic labyrinthine reflex, body positions are two. One is supine, one is prone. In supine, if there is, if you put a baby in supine line, if there is increased tone in both upper limbs, lower limbs and the tongue, then it is abnormal from birth. If you are putting the baby in prone line, if you are seeing flexion of the lower limbs, flexion of the upper limbs, from birth to three months it is normal. Okay? If if it is after three months, still the kid is having flexion of the lower limbs and flexion of the upper limbs, then it is abnormal. The next one is positive supporting reaction. What is positive supporting reaction? Hold the child upright under the axilla. Lift and bring down so that soul touches the brain. You can say extension of hip and knee with plantar flexion of the ankle. Okay? You just hold the child under the axilla and come and touch the sole of the 
foot under the plate. You can see extension of the knee and the plantar flexion of the ankle. Okay, this is positive supporting reaction which should start at birth and should disappear by 3 to 4 months. So please do remember that positive supporting reaction hold upright under the axilla of the child. Okay, what is the stimulus? You just get the touch the sole of the foot on the plane. Okay, the response is extension of the hip, extension of the knee and plantar flexion of the ankle. Okay, it should appear at birth and it should disappear at 3 to 4 months. The same thing, negative supporting reaction, hold the chain upright under the axilla, touch the sole of the foot on the plinth or the table, okay, the chain will sink, collapse. Okay, this is called negative supporting reaction. Okay, the chain will sink or there will be sudden flexion of the lower limbs. So it appears at birth and should disappear by 3 to 5 months. So please do remember that brainstem reflexes are very very important. Okay, once these reflexes get matured, the kids' developmental milestones will happen. If these reflexes are not yet integrated, the child functional activities may be limited. The next is midbrain 